Hey, we're back. Uh, next up, Matt Mirage is going to talk about large format cameras. And uh, wow, what a year it's been because uh, all this new stuff, Matt. New stuff. Oh, Matt. my goodness. There's so much new stuff. Golly. We have new films. Of course, the, the latest in the monster film line, the, uh, the Frankenstein. The evil of Frankenstein unleashed a monster that oh, terrorized the whole community. The latest in the, the large format line, The Mummy, which mm. awesome. The mummy. People have been waiting for 400 speed, and that was an 8x10. Love yeah. it. Yes. So great. The new gen Intrepids, which have just been rolling out, those are current. A few weeks ago, I had a chance to meet up with someone that has is just now starting their own boutique brand of large format cameras. They're only doing 8x10 and 11x14. So very, very oh, niche, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, handcrafted, hardwood uh, 8x10 cameras. And I got to meet with Mr. Rafael Gutz of Fasquel & Co. with their brand new camera, which launches the La Heritage 8x10, which, you know, for us uh, Americans looks like La Heritage. Is what? that what it translates to? Uh, I the think I think he said edition? it was like legacy is what it translates oh. to. But the whole deal is they're hardwood boutique eight by ten cameras. Uh, it's it's him and uh, his partner in the French countryside making these beautiful handcrafted cameras. Yeah, so those are the Whoa. those are the cameras. They're, they're beautiful. They have red bellows. Bellows. So when Raphael visited me, he he visited me up at four hundred West Rich in my darkroom <clears> space. <throat> And he actually brought two cameras with him. He brought two 8x10s. One was made out of walnuts and had like black finish, actually just like this model right here. He also had another, uh, another camera that was mahogany with brass fittings. So just beautiful hardwood wow. cameras. Um, they are still, uh, at least the camera that, the cameras I got to see, these ones right here, they were uh, prototypes for what's going on. So the whole deal is this is, this is two guys in France that have both been into film photography for a while. Raphael first got his start by listening to the FPP. Oh, wow. wow. That's why he reached, reached, reached out to us when he was going to be touring the country. So he's actually coming to doing a North American tour, visiting various who he considers like important opinions in film photography, what they think about these cameras. They're doing, they're doing really good work with the cameras. I gave him some pointers, and really these cameras... Um, we'll That's have, the one with the brass on it. That's nice. Yeah, look we'll at have, that beauty. So it is, it is aluminum. It's anodized to look like brass. So uh, there are some cost savings okay, in there. Well. But they're very nice cameras. It's, they still weigh less than my Tachihara, which is great. Look at that. It's got a handle, too. It's like a little suitcase. Handmade leather handle. Look everything that. is... Everything about it that is that looks boutique is boutique. It's very, very nice. Their whole goal is to... This first run of cameras, they're going to come out with 50 of them. And pre-orders are going to be starting December of 2022. And then that first year of production is 2023. So they're not looking to, these guys aren't looking to get rich Mm -hmm. on cameras. They're putting all of their effort into gathering opinions from photographers. So he spent time with the Eastman Museum talking to, um, oh my gosh, uh, talking to Mark Osterman at the Eastman Museum. He's their head of workshops there. Uh, hmm. Talking to some prominent photographers that are known for working in 8x10, like Alex Soth. Uh, he also met last summer and talked with Sally Mann. She was in France wow. while he was uh, doing some uh, some demo with the camera and got to talk with her about so the camera. So they're cameras. getting some really great... Uh, great opinions, opinions about it. And, and it's really suggestions. cool. Suggestions. Exactly. These cameras are very inspired by... American design cameras as well, American and UK design cameras. So the American camera that these take after is the Deerdorf. And the Deerdorf camera is really synonymous with 8x10. And you can, if I pull up a, a side by side, it's kind of like, oh, they're the same picture. Now, the other reason that they're making a camera in 8x10 is because of the, the time and effort that it costs. They're making everything by hand. So remember yeah. when you asked me, Mike, about the, is Intrepid doing this by hand? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, you know, right. it's, it's inexpensive. These guys hand grind the ground glass. Wow. Oh. They're folding, they're gluing and folding the bellows by hand. Oh. And all the woodworking is done by it's one guy. Artesian. Exactly. Artisanal yeah. cameras. And so you can kind of tell. It's very, very similar stuff. Mm-hmm. The cool thing is when a Deerdorf was new, the equivalent cost of that would be about five, 6000 U.S. today. Mm. These cameras are going to debut at 4,000 euros and go upwards of 4,500 euros. So this is not walking around money. This is like 
It's a good investment. Yeah, but the whole idea of the Heritage, or the legacy camera, is... Have the, it your life. This is a camera that's going to last generations. It's hardwood. It is French waxed on the wood. So like everything just like is gliding. It's mm. beautiful. I'm going to have like a small video of the short time that Raphael and, uh, Raphael and I spent together in Columbus. And I, I had a chance to shoot with it a little bit. I shot a portrait of him with, with the other camera. It's great. Like everything feels really nice and smooth on it. But you can tell there, this isn't somebody that is like starting a Kickstarter and trying to make money and then like get out. You know, these are guys that are passionate about this they feel invested in the film photography community and they're trying to show their love for it by making a new uh a new precious tool for people so mm. it's it's neat and i thought oh, you know awesome. hey we need to we need to like pump them up and yes and talk about it yeah for sure and there are already are folks that are at like the super high end in this space but i kind of feel like there are there's deerdorf cameras so that that chicago made camera that cost used four thousand dollars so what they're trying to do is say, well, maybe this camera doesn't have the parts and support anymore. These guys are going to support the camera as long as they're around. Right. So that's the other thing with this it's camera. A it's it's a li- it's a lifetime oh. support. Okay. Uh, you need parts. They're going to get you a new part. So as these things get better, as they get more experience with the cameras, you're getting a better you know product along with it, which is pretty cool. All right. Thanks, Matt. Good luck, guys.